What's wrong, program? You guys only came together in my death. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, yeah. you did. <laughs> you can't say I said when I'm right here and I know what the f I well, said. Then why Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome in, Habibi. To right. another episode of the A-Raps Podcast. Today we have a crazy, insane, b mind-blowing uh, conversation and a lot of things are going on. What do you... And the, Take it away, Raph. <laughs> 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 this is... <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought about anything but the fact that, you know, uh, Frogan almost got beaten up by police and Kendrick... Uh, pretty much beat the out of Drake this yeah. week. We have uh, we have so many things to do. We also have housekeeping stuff to talk about. We have so many things to do. We we have everything. We'll stop prepping them and start fucking talking about. Okay, it. that's true. I but I just don't, I want to I want to I want to like <laughs> we're prepping. I want to I'm gonna do a little four. Here's on our list. Okay, we uh we went to uh so all the encampments have been going on all over the United States. What are the encampments? Yo, that's a great question. <laughs> Thank you, Rab. <laughs> <laughs> the For those who don't know what's going on. So what's going on is students at uh, colleges across the United States are protesting for Palestine. They're asking their colleges to divest, which means stop uh, working with companies that work with Israel. So they're saying, like, remove uh, any money affiliated with Israel from the colleges. So that what they can control is they can, you know, stop their universities uh, from investing in Israel unless Israel stops the uh, apartheid state and the genocide in Gaza. Um, so basically what they're doing is they're just putting up little tents and they're camping out in an area and they're creating an encampment. You know, it's almost like a, it's just like a camping area. And then they're just waiting there until the school, um, protesting the school until the school, uh, divests. Uh, so me and Frogan went to the, uh, UCLA one. It was uh, kind of on a whim. Uh, Frogan was supposed to go there for work. I don't know if you want to say, but Frogan was supposed to go there for work. Yeah, I potentially have a new opportunity of helping Hassan out with stream stuff. So I was originally going to see if I could get media permission for him to stream uh, the UCLA encampments, but Shay hit the fan very quickly while we were there, and he stayed home and watched between everybody else's streams. Uh, Brett, Cinemarxism was streaming it. We were streaming it. And I think there's one more person streaming it, but I don't remember their name. Uh, Miss Anita Bump. Miss Anita Bump. Okay. But yeah, so we went. Um, I was going to stay there, but I didn't anticipate to stay as long as I did. Um, I was there from like 6.30 until midnight. About midnight, yeah, um, that was when we left. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Brogan's like, yeah, it was crazy. No, what that happened was, was like, wild. Bro Brogan was like, hey, I need these like microphones. I may just because Capri. No, no, I was gonna either because uh, you were like, I wanted to go before yeah. before this so happened. He was like, I want to go, and if you want, I'll bring the labs because I needed labs if Hassan uh, was coming up because better mics. Uh, he was like, yeah, I'll just Shade. come. <laughs> I'm reality. all about shade today. It's reality. Your mic suck. He has no mic. I hate no the way you sound. I hate I the way hate, your mic. I hate the way you're the Kendra shit. Yeah. Uh, so then he was like, yeah, I'll just come because he wanted to go to the encampment anyway. And then he was like, I'll bring Scooty's labs because I was going to borrow Scootish's. And I was mm -hmm. like, okay. Uh, but whenever Capri makes plans with you, expect to see him three hours after. No, yeah, um, he's brown. The designated time. Uh, he'll tell you he's almost there, and you'll see him in an hour and a half. How long were you there until he actually showed he, up? He, like, he came at 8 p.m. Well, you went, so we stopped touring apartments at 5, and then you went. I went around 5.30, 6. Took me. Oh, I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, it took about 30 minutes to get there, 30, 45 minutes. So I got there on 6.30. Um, I walked around. I went into the actual encampment. Mm-hmm. Uh, media isn't allowed in there, mm -hmm. but I just like went in because I wanted to like walk around and see what was happening. When I walked in, they were building the barricade because there was word police were going to sweep it between one o'clock in the morning and six o'clock in the morning, which ended up happening around mm -hmm. five o'clock in the morning. Yep. So they're like building a plywood barrier around and like 
umbrellas and everything. It was like insane in there. Bench. Um, they were like taking benches. Not in there. That's for the other. Oh, the, the other hospital. side. Yeah. So inside, uh, it's like it was like a very community. They had like a medic tent. They had like a prayer part for the Muslims. They had food. They had so many tents. They had like a mental health tent from the attacks that happened from the Zionists the night prior. Mm. They got their shit rocked for four hours by counter protesters. Yeah, they got fireworks. The Zionists were launching fireworks into the That was the at UCLA? Yeah. 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 So the Zionists like came to the lawn and that's where like, the, what happened was the Zionists put counter protesting. They put like a, a stage there. And right now they're running those protests, right? Isn't it current? Uh, they're running like the Zionist protests are going on. But they have like a stage and like the Zionists had this area and they were launching rockets from that over in the encampment. They're launching like bottle rockets, like big Disneyland ass fucking bottle rockets. So they had to like fend from the, they had to fend for themselves the night before. So they built like a barricade around and I walked around and whenever you go in, they're like, do you consent to getting arrested? And I was like, sure. At that point I was like, if I get a, oh, I got, I, okay, I look, he got scared because at one point they weren't letting anybody out of the encampment. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, I'm literally about Dude, to get you fucking called arrested. Me and you're like, Capri, I'm in the encampment and they're not letting me leave. I'm going to get arrested. What do I do? And I was like, I'm, I'm driving. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Seems like somebody wasn't ready to get arrested. <laughs> yeah, yeah, somebody wasn't. wasn't oh, Frogan, 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 Frogan. She's like, I'm ready to get arrested. Then like 10 minutes later, I, I'm not ready to get arrested. That didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were, you were bouncing before the tweet. You didn't want to get arrested. You I didn't like, want to get arrested, but I just wanted like. My concern of me getting arrested was, like, if I got, like, a felony. But I found out they got fucking charged with, like, misdemeanor trespassing. Like. So stupid. I wouldn't have cared for that. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. I wouldn't have given a fuck if I got arrested. I was just concerned for, like, the felony because, like, I wouldn't be able to get, like, a job in my field. I mean, I think, like, the what, what the concern for most people is, like, fucking they were getting docs. Like, when they got arrested, they took their fucking masks off and, like, put them on there. And, like. They were like, look at these fucking terrorists, blah, blah, this shit. But when you walked in, they asked you, do you consent to be arrested? They didn't ask me when I walked through. They asked us both. Right when we walked in? Yes. I did not, rem I didn't hear them at all. They I think asked I was every like, single person. I did not fucking consent. hear them. You did not consent. Yeah, well, what's, what? like, are they the police? Are they like, do you consent to be arrested? I'm like, are you going to arrest me? <laughs> like, They just didn't want people in there that, that were fucking around. Mm. But I ended up getting media permission, but uh, I went live streaming in there with Brett, and then we got yelled at. <laughs> They're like, why are you live streaming? You shouldn't be live streaming. And we told them we got permission, and then they're like, well, we don't want anybody's faces to be shown. But everybody in the encampment were wearing masks anyways. Yeah. So we're like, but okay. I get that. Yeah, we just left. We we're like, okay, we left the encampment. And outside of the encampment, there were like protests out there because people were building like human barricades of okay. the encampment. Love that. Um, Around all circles. Uh, There's like a, like hundreds of people on the, on the stairs. And then there are hundreds of people on the other side. Um, and then that's when the police started showing up. Like whenever I got to UCLA, the police were there. Um, I was actually followed by three cars on my way there. And then, um, they were all parked in the lawn. When and then, you say followed, what was, what was going on? They were just driving behind me for okay. a very long time. Really? Yes. Okay. Um, and then they all retreated and then we were all like, okay. But then like shit hit the fan, like, um, the riot police, like, came out around 9 10 p.m and they like walked <coughs> excuse me they like walked through the campus and i was like okay like fuck and like for me i'm i'm not really afraid like i've been to a bad protest before at the white house so i was like getting as close as i possibly could but then i did get fucking afraid though like whenever they turned around i thought they're about to pop my ass i literally ran i was like fuck that shit what to your ass pop pop my, pop finger, my ass finger, finger pop, pop. Gra, gra. What's that? A gun. <laughs> when you do the finger thing, and it just pop my ass like that. It just really doesn't come off the way. <laughs> Gra. <laughs> Gra. Is that how guns sound? Gra. Mm -hmm. But yeah. <laughs> no, it's not like ice bikes. No, because my biggest fear is, because I saw those motherfuckers with the, with the rubber bullets. I was like, I do not want to be Fetty Wap up in this bitch. I've seen people lose their eyes. That kid, did you see the kid that got his, his, his <laughs> head? 2013's calling. They want their fucking Fetty Wap back, dude. Their Fetty Wap reference. Hey, back. six seven nine is a good song. <laughs> I love how it's like always the old motherfuckers trying to come for me in my age. Sorry, my ass vibrated. Dude, he's the same age as you. He's like a year older. It's not the same age. <laughs> Call me old again. See what happens.
Yeah, we got a fucking Facebook messenger going off. That proves your Sorry, I'm age. so popular. Yeah, you don't even have friends on Facebook. Uh, no, so I got there a little bit later, and then I was like, I wasn't really playing. I thought Rogan was going to go live, and then I was like, hey, I do want to go live I'm on my own. I didn't really know what was going on, so I went live. Um, and it was, uh, it was basically, for me, it was just all kids like it like people were like there's like people coming off the buses there was one van there that was really fucking weird it was like that anti-semitic fucking van with like the jewish star that van i didn't understand i saw that van in your streams it seemed like they were pro-palestine they're pro-palestine but they had like the star of david with like a swastika, swastika in it. oh did they yeah, yeah. oh yeah hell which no. like which like which like okay like are you trying to say Israel is the, the no that, say, at that point racist. at that point it's no I'm I like come on bro I'm not gonna no one's gonna drive around with a fucking star of David with a swastika on it that's insane yeah no the imagery is no, hurtful to the pro Palestinian movement yeah. so I was like ew like this person's a fucking wasn't that van like a, it was, to be there though huh wasn't that van approved to be there they're no. parked in a separate parking lot it's public oh. so so technically so the the thing is like the whole it, like w what I was arguing with Asmund Gold about the other day was that. He's like, this is, they don't have a right to be there. They can't do this. I'm like, no, this is public property. Like the, the schools are public. Like anyone can walk onto the institution. It's the University of California, Los Angeles, you know, the University of California, Irvine. They're all public institutions. So I, as a member of the public, I parked my car there and I was able to keep it there for three days as long as I paid, which is fucking insane. Like to, you can't park anywhere in LA for three days, like for $20, right. you know? So it's just a public school. So we, the members of the public, we were legally allowed to be everywhere but the police determined, oh, if you're in the encampment, you're trespassing, mm -hmm. which is stupid because it's just you're just drawing the law however you want to draw the fucking law. Yeah. Like, oh, the protesters outside, because they're not camping here, they're OK. So it's like saying, again, it's like saying all the homeless people on the street, they're trespassing, you know, like they're all trespassing. We're going to arrest all of them. We're going to put them in jail. So basically it was crazy. But when we walked through, Frogan took me in the encampment when I got there. So I get there like late and then I meet up with Frogan. After a while, I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to get in. Like, I didn't know how, what was going on. And I parked really far away. So we get in and then I like finally meet up with Frogan. And then I'm like, like, she's like, I go live and, you know, I'm talking to her because I was looking for her using my live stream to coordinate with them. Because even on the map, like I couldn't tell where they were because at UCLA, the campus is kind of like layered. So I was like up higher. So I couldn't figure out like how close I was to them. I thought I was walking towards them anyways. So we get down and, uh, I coordinate with them. And then Frogan's like, do you want to see the encampment? And I'm like, yeah, but they're like, you can't stream. So I put my phone in my pocket while I was still live. And we walked through and everyone there was just like prepared to like get their shit rocked. Yeah. I mean, that's really what it was. And what's crazy about it is all these people like these terrorists, these people, they're fucking disgusting. A lot of the tagging and stuff. I didn't see it. Did you see the tagging? You saw it on there. Okay, so, but who cares? Yeah, Did who a fucking cares? Power, listen, I was driving on the freeway the other day, and I saw a fucking power washer cleaning up the graffiti off the building. I mean, off this wall of the road. It it it, it doesn't justify rocking their shit. The violence came from the police. Like it was safe until was the tagged, police showed you know, up. The encampment was, yeah, yeah, it was tagged. like free Palestine. It was just like stuff on like property that. or on their plywood. On property. On property. Oh, okay. Like so the, the one yeah, but you don't, I mean, but, yeah, I mean, again, like, hey, look, 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 you don't, this is not a violent crime. This is no. a crime that like, it's a misdemeanor. You don't need okay. a riot police to stop. You don't tagging. need a riot police to beat you over the head with a baton because you're spray painting people who think that they want that. Okay. Well, just so you know, statistically people commit three felonies a day. Mm -hmm. Okay. So imagine riot police were standing behind you because one of the felonies you commit, which is just as bad, you know, I think it's two, two or three felonies a day a human being commits or no two or three a week. I'm sorry. I looked mm -hmm. up the statistics. Everyone commits felonies all the time. People just think that they don't. They just don't like it when you do because they're like, I don't do any of that. It's bullshit. Everybody does. Like, so the tagging, whatever. But when you walked in there, there was no violence. Nobody was beating each other. It was all like little short stack people. Like some of these people are 18 year olds at 110 pounds. You can't call these people. You can't throw you can't throw a Drake diss at these people. Short stack? Yeah, they're they're normal size people. Normal I got size that people. I hop dick. They call me short stack. <laughs> is that a, what's that from i think it's a, is that a cody co line yes. yeah. oh okay i was like what rapper would write about their pancake cock dude little dicky true so so we it, it was a it was a jake paul 
This? Yes. Yeah, dude. Cody Cole needs to get back on the Jake Paul hate train. Uh, if you're listening, Cody Cole, in the future. I'd love to have you on. Uh, we would love to have you on, but like, go back after him, dude. Fight him. Fight him. He's the one that could fight him. But anyways, so, so we walk through. Uh huh. We get through the encampment. Uh, it's crazy. It made me almost cry like multiple times because like as a Palestinian, it's like, hey, there's actually people that give a shit. Protests were there. Media was there. CNN was there. Fox. They were all outside. But when the cops came through, they were like doing their fucking patrols and marching. And you know what? It really made me mad because every motherfucker who's talking from the sidelines, they're like, oh, these are fake people. They're agitators. It was all students. You could tell they're students. You know, they had their backpacks and shit for school. You know what a student looks like versus a 40 year old man. Yeah. And the second thing is the cops were walking in like in riot gear and like acting paramilitary. But when we call them in L.A., they don't show up. Yeah, dude. So, I, fuck the police, honestly. <laughs> because at the end of the day, if all they're doing is making the situation uns unsafe, I think L.A. is the best city ever for people to say, actually, the police don't fucking do shit. Because in L.A., they do not come when you call them. But they can all of a sudden show up 50 people deep. When you got your car stolen, did they show up? No. They didn't come? No. No. But when someone's fucking camping out on a school... They go, oh, we got to show up. So do they only show up for you because you have the school because they have money? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you had more money, do you have to pay them off? Is, or do they only work for pay? Like, what is it? My dad, the other day, he got a, uh, remember my dad had the, he fainted. I freaked out yeah. when we were up in the mountains. He called the police. He called the ambulance. They never showed up in LA. And then people goes, oh, see, this is what LA is like. If you call the police, they don't show up. I'm like, this is, the, they already don't do that, dog. So, but they, then they show up and they do this, like they were making it unsafe. And then I freaked out and Frogan fucking, she literally goes, I have a, I have a job proposition for you and takes the fucking camera and then does night stalker shit or whatever the fuck that movie is. And then runs to the danger. <laughs> Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. Yeah. Frogan looks at me and she just goes. Yeah, Frogan was going crazy in her Lou Bloom era. Yeah. She when was the in When the sun Lou went down, Frogan, Frogan went wild. Oh. I got Buck the footage. Wild. I got the footage. Nobody else did though. But there were three other people filming the same thing that Not you really. did. Kind of. Not live. There were. The other three people that were live still filming the same thing. Oh, they said 300 people. No, three. 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 We were all. I Brett, was very concerned Anita for you. I was really area. mad at you. I was so concerned for your I was safety. mad at you because you were being a bitch. Yeah, but you're also very. Like the whole chat was like, Frogan, please don't do that. I don't care. What, what? are they going to do? What are they going to do? They're going to chat. <laughs> They're going to tell you, take care of yourself. And then you came back and I like knew you were not doing well because you're just like. I've never seen you in public go, <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit! I, she does have yeah, asthma. If I can't fucking breathe, I'm gonna use my inhaler in public. I know, the I fuck? know, dude. It was it was a very tense. It fucked me up. It was a very tense situation. The cops made it very tense. I mean, at one point, Frogan runs into the danger, and then I see everyone disperse and run this way, and then I see Frogan run back, and I was like, what happened? <laughs> but they were just like playing. They were pretending they were military. Like they're trying to kettle us. Yeah. yeah, they were. Circling. And then they were separating everyone up so they can move they forward. They were split so they can move. Yeah, I saw that too. And then they were shooting the rubber bullets at their heads, which uh, if we you, weren't there for that. Yes, we were not. That there was for that. way later yeah, in the but, night. But I just saw the footage of it. If you uh, if you look at the manual, I looked at the LAPD manual. It doesn't say technically, but those guns they they have a user manual or owner manual when you get those guns and you're shooting rubber bullets, they're supposed to be ricocheted off the ground. Yeah. They're not supposed to go for your head because you can kill someone. It's just, it's like hitting someone in the head with a fucking, you know, people die like from rock. golf balls to yeah. the head, right? It is it is actually metal, but it's just encased in rubber. Yeah. So uh, they were shooting, pe like, literally full-on aiming. I mean, like, because they're not trained in this, like, I mean, what do you do? How often doing? do they fucking quell riots, you know? It's not I mean? even a riot, though. They weren't doing anything. That's what I'm saying. That's what pisses me off. They're like, oh, these guys were going crazy. They were not doing anything. They were peaceful as fuck. They made a fucking little city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they tagged the walls. That's annoying. They they made the floor look like shit because there was people going through. But, like, there was nothing going on. They made it unsafe. It was just protesting. There was, like, one counter protester that Frogan went up to. That was it. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Fuck that motherfucker. With the, with the shofar. <laughs> that was wild. It was like a mess. I was like, yeah, dude, the shofar's out. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Rap, Rap's watching from home, bro. <laughs> I was like, yeah. What do you use that for? What do you use the shofar for? Can I be honest, completely honest with you? You have no idea. I still have no idea. It's a, it's a, it's a call to prayer thing. So it's like ancient time shit. It's ancient time shit. That's how you call God? Basically. 
That's like his phone. That's his ringtone. Yeah. <laughs> He yeah, always like, just picking up. Hello. He's like <laughs> my children. Yeah, <laughs> I have to look it up. It's a, it's a, it's a call. It's a call to God, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I believe. We're in a Washington Post article, so if you want to check that out, we'll put the link below. Um, that Tim, was also wild to me too. The Washington Post. Article. Yeah, Isn't that cool? coming. I mean, it's cool, but also like, who gives a shit? Like, do talk about the talk about go talk to the campers. They See, did. Did they? Okay. They're talking about how the reason why it's so important for us on the ground is because mainstream media isn't doing it. showing what's actually happening okay. on, in the encampments, whereas we're doing it raw, unfiltered, showing the actual peacefulness. Whereas mainstream media is making the kids look like a villain. Okay, that's not how it was pitched to me when you first said it. It seemed like they were just like interviewing you just to interview. It you. is no, weird. No. I get what you're saying. It does come but off. They weird. did talk to some of the kids, but like. Like they're just highlighting how Twitch streaming is becoming the new media, the, the new the like, new vice. Yeah. Well, dude, it was three streamers, and then the media was sitting so far back. We're we're moving. Yeah. They're just out there giving their pundit speeches, being like, "The this students are getting on. crazy, and inside there's riots." And I'm like, "Bitch, you're fucking 500 meters away. Go inside. If you go inside, and then you can talk, but you're not in there. Like we walk through there, it's nothing going on." A lot when you walked in the encampment, there were teachers sitting there being like, Do you need a ride? Do you need help? Yeah. Then there's like it's basically a free society that's being funded by the donors. Masks are being handed out. Yeah, masks yeah. are being handed out. Like it's a it is a free society saying, We're gonna pay for you. You just go and protest, and then people will support you. The community is gonna come through and support you. Mm -hmm. I donated, right? Like I went, we did the after this encampment, me and Frogan went to Chapman, and that's where they like took our pictures and they watched us. You know, talk to the encampment. It was just kids hanging out, dude. They were all chill. They're like super nice to us. They were just like, we're doing the encampment. We're coordinating with the school. We're doing, but the school basically said if it gets out of hand, they're going to shut us down. And the school was like, we're so proud of you guys. They like came up in front of me and Frogan. But it's like, if you're proud, then why the fuck are you not divesting? Yeah, moving the police away. No, 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 no. Not moving Chapman yet. No, oh, no, Chapman, no, Chapman, no. Chapman, Chapman, Chapman's Chapman. Chapman Ted Day, I think, is growing. So, mm -hmm. like, if you're proud of the students, and the, the dean came up to the students while we were next to the students, he's like, I'm so proud of you. And it's like, okay, then divest. Yeah, divest. Like, stop fucking investing in Israel. And also, people are like, they don't have clear goals, or don't know what they're talking about. Bro, anyone out there, like, honestly, this is me talking directly in the camera. If you think that this is something different than you're picturing in your head, shut the fuck up and go there. Go there and look at it for yourself. Go to the encampments, look at it for yourself. And see it with your own eyes before you yap yap on the internet. Because what you're being fed is totally bullshit. And those people that are feeding you that are not even going into those encampments. Because they're not allowed in. So people are like, I speculate that in there something's going on. It's not. It's not what you think. You know? But we went to Chapman. And then like Chapman, one of the girls told us she got chased by a fucking knife. Like a guy with a knife. He was cutting down the flags. And uh, she was, she ended up being a uh, fan of Frogan's, like a viewer of Frogan's, mm -hmm. which was very sweet. It was so nice. She's very nice. And they were coordinating with us. And like, um, basically they, she was like, yeah, some old guy was randomly on campus. Another agitator shows up, starts cutting the flags down. Yeah. And then she like confronts him. Like, what are you doing? And then he chases them off with a knife and the police ended up arresting him. But that didn't hit the fucking news. Do you see that anywhere? No. You know, I think I was the first person to even tweet about it or whatever. How did you feel, Frogan, after all that shit? I feel tired. Are you, like, emotionally exhausted? I'm everything exhausted. What's wrong, Frogan? You want to hash it? You want to hash? You want to yell? You want to yell? You want to you wanna hash it out right now? You want to yell at me? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I'm just tired. Are you really just tired? Yes. I feel like Frogan's going to yell at me. Don't look at me. This Dude, is I don't know. Bro. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't know. <laughs> no, everybody knows I love concerts here. Rafi and I went to a festival last weekend. Mm -hmm. We went to Sick New World. We saw um, Baby Metal. That was sick. Drain. Bring Me the Horizon. That was sick, too. Danny Elfman. I'm that really, was fucking weird. Slipknot. I'm really mad about Bring Me the Horizon. And System of a Down. We got our shit rocked. Okay. Well, we got our shit rocked at 
Bring me the horizon. Okay, so I texted you about this. You never fucking responded. Oh, okay. Um, so my sister's a metalhead. And yeah, I, kill the crowd. Yeah, I didn't know crowd killers were a thing. They purposely go out of their way to try to fucking hurt you. I swear to God, this motherfucker was eyeing me down to kick me in the face. What's a crowd killer? They basically go out of their way to hurt people. Oh, what the fuck? That aren't in the circle pit. Why? Yeah, Bringing the Horizon set was wild because no, that, they that were... that was during uh, uh, Kublai Khan. Kublai Kai? Yeah. Cobra Kai? Kublai Kai. No, we weren't. We were there for the very the last, last song, yeah. and we were on the Kublai outskirts. And yeah, that and guy... That circle, yeah, that motherfucker like, yeah. kicking. Yeah. He was trying to hurt he was, people. He was, he was, yeah. yeah. Anybody who kicks in a fucking pit is trying to hurt people. Yeah. Drain's crowd wasn't that bad. It was just pushing. I was like, whatever. I could do with pushing. Drain's crowd was actually pretty sick. I loved it. I they loved Drain. Um... Raffi's wearing their hat right now. I am. Um, what the fuck is a dream? So bring me the Horizons crowd. Every Okay, I should have realized this. Every single time I've seen Bring Me the Horizon, I've seen them. I think this might have been my third or fourth time seeing them. Mm-hmm. I get my shit rocked. Every fucking time. The first time I saw them, I went for this band called Fever 333, which they were, uh, Jason was in Let Live, which was one of my favorite bands ever. They opened and I loved Bring Me the Horizon. As soon as Bring Me the Horizon came on, I was the only girl in the pit, basically. I got lifted and, like, thrown. Oh, okay, yeah. And I was like, I'm out. I'm out this bitch. You said you got your hijab rift? You're jumping the gun. Oh, I'm so sorry. My, you know concert. what? She's talking about a different concert. <laughs> what? No, you're, you're interrupting a story that... <laughs> She's talking about a different concert. It's tying back into... Put, plug your shit back in. We're going to get a buzzing sound. Oh, God. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, you got thrown at that concert. You're like, I'm out. I'm not doing yeah. the Horizon concerts no. anymore. Mm-mm. I just, <laughs> yeah. I, no, no. I just wanted to stay in the back. I, I went to You're the back. You're jumping the gun. I'm jumping the gun. <laughs> uh, so the, I love Bring Me the Horizon. I was so sure they're gonna play one of my favorite songs ever. They didn't, but got my shit rocked. I got shoved to the ground. Um, my scarf was getting ripped off. I usually wear these. I used. I wear three. I ended up only having my black one on. And yeah, but System of a Down was amazing. They fucking brought up Palestine, and I was like, yeah. And then they're like, where's the rage for Armenians? Where was the rage, where, where was for, the rage Armenian, for the Armenian Armenian genocide? Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, bro, I'm like, be fucking real. Like, yeah, it's important, but like, the whataboutism when it comes to like genocides is, I think, really weird. Yeah, I mean, the, I think that the one thing that people bitch about, like when they're like, "Well, my genocide or this genocide," it's like, "Well, this one's active. Like, let's stop the let's stop the one that's active." Also, I am I am still enraged about the Armenian genocide. It's nasty. It's gross. Yeah, it's, it's awful, dude. You know, Armenian yeah. people Armenian people got fucking their shit rocked. It's fucking disgusting. And Turkey just denied it for years. I don't even think Surge said anything. So I was reading. Okay, I was reading TikTok comments yesterday. They said Surge said something about Palestine, but I'm pretty sure I would have. Wait. No, no. Wait, I don't think Sur- he did Surge didn't say anything about Palestine, but they talked about the Armenian genocide. It wasn't Surge. It was the it other wasn't guy. Surge. It was the other. It was the other guy. The guitarist. Darren, the guitarist. Yeah. The guitarist is a, a historically a douche, by the way. They have broke up yeah. because the guitarist basically. But yeah. I, so allegedly, we, we were there for Surge and the bassist. We weren't there for Surge. Is literally our <laughs> uncle. He looks like Ammo Surge. He does look like Ammo Surge. <laughs> he looks like the type of guy that's like he'll you see him like at like a He was fire. fun to watch. He's he's crazy on stage. He is. is he? It he's was... like wild. He's like moving around. He's doing like all the like Armenian Arab shit. It's, it was pretty fun yeah, to watch. Yeah, they're like yeah. super political. That's yeah. like their whole sh- I fucking love System of Down. It was really good. Um and then so after getting fucking my shit rocked, my body hurt a little and then like mm-hmm. from the protests and like all that my body didn't recover. But I'm a concert bitch, all right? And one of my favorite bands ever, Grayscale, uh, was coming to L.A. And I asked my some of my best friends if they would <laughs> like to accompany me to a concert because I wanted to spend time with my friends outside of a work environment since I only see them in the context of work. But, you know, apparently that's too much to ask for oh. whenever you ask friends that. So anyways... I based the concert I was going to around these two instead of going to the Los Angeles date, which was right next to my house. I went to the Santa Ana one, which is an hour and a half away during traffic. Besides the point. So. Keep going. Keep anyways, going. Anyways, 
So Friday came T- around and, talk I was, your shit, and, I, and I was so excited to see Grayscale because like I said, they're one of my favorite bands ever. This that Friday was my eleventh time seeing them. Um Raph was MIA for two days. He like fucking died. Which yeah. that's a whole different story. I was so anxious. I literally was like, I I don't know, it had me shook because I was like, people that go MIA don't say shit for like days, especially when you talk to them like on it almost like on a daily basis. I thought he was dead. Yeah, I was really worried. But I just know that Raph has done that before. Raph, okay, just for context real quick, not to cut your story, but he just didn't respond to us for a day and a half. And like literally me and Frogan just kept texting each other like, do you think he's dead? <laughs> and I was like, maybe he did drugs or something and he's just sleeping. And then she's just like, I don't know, maybe not. And then I was like, dude, I'm genuinely concerned. Like, is <laughs> he dead? <laughs> huh? No, it did happen because you asked him, did you do drugs to his face? Yeah, to his face. No, because the way you're wording it. Anyway, so at the po- at this point, <laughs> whenever Capri tells stories, he twists it into not, a narrative that he wants it to I'm fit. not saying a narrative. You literally told Raph, did you do drugs? What's the narrative? I, we both had the same conversation. Did, did, did we have the conversation? Maybe he did drugs? We had a lot of conversations. So anyways, I was getting <laughs> anxious. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I was anxious because I, I talked to Game Pass. I talked to Scooty. And I was like... I was like, maybe he talked to them. In my head, I was like, maybe he's having like bad mental health. What well, doesn't want to deal yeah, with us. No, Fair yeah, Fair enough. But I was also very nervous. We just were pondering every scenario. <laughs> he's dead. He has That's bad mental first health. One. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I thought you were dead. So I, I, I got really, I got really nervous, and I was like, I told Game Pass, so I was like, dude, like if I don't hear from him on day three, I was like, would it be weird if I like went to his house and was like checking up, do like a wellness check? No, you told me like if I don't hear from him tomorrow, I'm going to his house. I was like, go. I was like, fuck, we should have gone to his house today. He's probably dead. <laughs> and he said it would have been weird. It would have no. been weird. It would have been weird if I like got knocking at my fucking window and I'm like, what the yeah, fuck? no, it was. It's more weird when like your friend and you work together and all of a sudden you wake up and they just disappear for I two days. I didn't give a fuck about the work thing. I was worried. No, about it's not him. about. It's not about the work thing. It's about <laughs> the fact that like there's a schedule and then all of a sudden you did. If you disappeared and stopped talking to me for two days, I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? You know, I thought he was mad. I thought I. I we went through everything. We're like, is he mad at us? No. Is he upset? I didn't say that. Is. Yeah, I did. But you pondered it with me too. No, I didn't. Th- I knew he wasn't mad at us. No, you. Okay, yeah, you're right. You said he wasn't mad at us, but I'm saying I pondered. Look here, you know what? Froggy <laughs> can speak for her own damn self. Okay, but she she's part of these fucking phone calls. It was, it's not me talking to myself. It's me going. You think he's mad? Do you think he's on drugs? You, know, you thought he was mad at us. I thought anything. I was like, is he dead? <laughs> he's like, Scoot said he's mad at us. Yeah, I was talking to talking to anyone. I was like, is he alive? Like, I'm worried. That's not what happened. I didn't say that. Yes. No. We were talking about how you and him. You told me this yeah. that you and him had a conversation about me and Frogan. How you guys were very nervous about us at the at the protest. Okay, that's a different word than mad. Okay, but I thought. And I and I just made my own presumption, like right. maybe he's <laughs> the of the story maybe he's story. upset about that thing. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like I'm pondering. And then I said, Raph wouldn't not talk to us if he was mad at us. He would straight up tell us. Yes, you're right. I'm just again. This is in a state of I think my friend is dead. I hope he's just upset with me. What Raph, the fuck? How long have you been dead? <laughs> I'm still dead. <laughs> no, but anyways, I got really fucking nervous. Okay. I'm probably dramatic, but at least it shows that I care. That's not dramatic. Or is any if someone if someone that you know didn't show up to work and didn't talk to you for I two days, give, you'd I didn't be like, give what a the fuck, fuck about the work? It's part. not about the work. It's not about the work. They didn't show up. They're missing for two days. <laughs> what the? F- if you're dead for fucking two, do you understand? Are you guys all fucking crazy? <laughs> if I went, if I kept calling you for two days and you're missing and you're supposed to be somewhere, let's say it's a fucking. God damn it, man, we were supposed to go to Chuck E. Cheese and you didn't fucking show up for two days. Are these people crazy? What, what, wait, what are you freaking out about? She's like, it's not about the work. I'm like, it's not about the work. He was supposed to be somewhere and he's not there twice in a row and he's not responding. My friend is fucking dead. Or he's on drugs. Or he's fucking homeless on the street. Or his family, something happened. Like, I thought something, like, happened with his family. I pondered a thousand things. And Frogan's like, I knew. He was just having a bad mental... No, you didn't fucking know. You thought he was dead, too. You're gonna go to his fucking house. I said I, I, said I figured. I no, just I, said I, I knew. I, okay. <laughs> you can't say I said shit when I'm right here and I know what the fuck well, I said. Well, then why would you go to his house if he's depressed? 
to check on him. Oh, dude, what are you going to do? Be like, are you depressed? And he goes, yeah, we go, here's, good. Here's what I would have done. I would have brought you food. <laughs> what if he's dead? <laughs> yeah, what if I was dead? <laughs> Then I would have been like, oh my God. But like. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? No, because like. Raph is dead and she goes, no, oh no. my God. No, I, I, I would be very upset if Raph died. No, but I, don't, I was, I was, I was, hold on. I, no, I was genuinely trying to think, of, like, I was, like, literally planning it in my head. I was like, if I have to go to Raph's house, I have to make it less weird because I know it's kind of weird, but I'm very worried about him. So I'm going to bring him food. But then I was like, I wouldn't know what kind of food to bring him because I was like, I don't eat, like, sushi. And I just have a sushi order from the other day because he sent me your weird Uber driver. So I could have got you sushi. Or I could have got you the nasty fucking sprout sandwich. But who the fuck would want that when they're depressed? I like how this is what you've been pondering. I'm pondering what happened to my friend. You're like, what kind of food should I bring him to not so make it weird? for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I knew you'd think it'd be weird if I showed up. It would be weird. <laughs> after, after a day, it would no, weird. Day. No, I was planning on day three. I told you, three days would have been fine. I'm yeah, like, no. I was, three I was days, planning three on days, day three. Is what I said, yeah. If, if I didn't hear from back from you on Saturday, I would have showed up. Yeah, because we had solid plans. Even I don't give a fuck well, no, about the plans no, at that no, point. No, 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 If I knew you weren't okay, I wouldn't give a fuck about the plans. I would just get the plans. Don't care. Yeah, nah. Anyways, so Raph is in a slumber for two days, and I texted him. I was like, "Hey, like we, he texted me finally." And then I was like, "So, I was like, are you like skipping out on the concert tonight?" He's like, "Honestly, yeah." And he's like, "Is Capri going with you?" And I was like, yes, I think so. And then on my way to the concert, since it was near Capri's place, we based it around the plan specifically for that. I called Capri because earlier that day we saw him because we had to do a photo shoot for Washington Post. And he's like, I don't know if I want to go. Sorry, I have to burp. Drafter, edit really awkward music right now while we all watch her. Oh, sorry. Anyways. Oh. <laughs> keep keep the music playing. No, I'm good. You're okay? Yeah. So I called him and he was like, honestly, I don't know if I want to go anymore. I don't think I'm going to go. I want to go live. I got to keep the momentum alive. Like I got rated. I got 3,000 new followers. I should really go live and talk about the encampments. This motherfucker never goes live on Friday, one. I don't go live Two. at all. Yeah, so... So then he was like, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll text you. I'll call you back. So then I was like, okay, I'm just going to go to the venue. And then I get a text message from him. I will respond. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like, I'm looking at. I fucking hate that. What is that? Show that now. <laughs> I told you not to put it. Me and Frogan. Frogan puts a picture oh, that's. Yeah. <laughs> Frogan puts a picture of my text that's extremely doxable. And I go, what if I call? And like, she goes, that will never happen. This is an hour ago. Hold on. <laughs> no, so he said, and so then he texted me at 6.03 p.m. The concert started at 6.30. 6.03 p.m. I'm not going to lie. I feel like shit. I feel like if I go and do anything right now, I'm going to have like an actual mental breakdown. I got that text message. And then one minute later, I got a go live notification from Caprice on Poppy. Yeah. I told. Okay. Okay. So keep then, going. Keep going, buddy. At, at this point, I was like, Okay. So now I'm going to this concert I'm going uh, that I really wanted to go to alone, which I, I hate going to concerts alone. I've done it before. Um, and I we planned it for or I planned it for like a month at this point. So I was very irritated. I was like, OK, like this is really fucking annoying that my my plans get canceled. Or no. And he was like, oh, you shouldn't go either. Yeah, I said that. I really thought that. I still think that. He's like, oh, you shouldn't go either. I said you should go home and do nothing. She was not doing well. I think like... I, I was doing fine. Just because my body hurts doesn't mean I'm going to stay home and fucking wallow in self-pity. It's not swallowing in self-pity. This is what I said. You want me to know what I said to Frogan? This is what I said. I'm like, Frogan, I went to therapy and my fucking therapist said I need to sit okay, at home. Okay, save your, your self-pity for after the story. Oh, oh, the story keeps going? Yes. Okay, keep going. So then I went to the concert alone. And it ended early because I only stayed for Grayscale. I left at 9 p.m. Then I went to Scootish's house. And then we went to Capri's house for like 10 minutes. And then I went home because I was in a very bad mood. 
thinking about how I'm never going to ask my friends to hang out with me ever again because they'd only want to see me in the context of work. Was this fucking necessary for the story? Is this, is this actually necessary for the story? So then I decided, I was like, I'm going to quit my job working for Capri so nobody ever sees me anymore. And then maybe they actually want to see me and do fun things Damn, she used me. my moves again. She's going to use my move against us. Can I be crazy. honest? So you guys, you guys will only see me on Sundays from now on. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah, my rebuttal is, that sucks, man. <laughs> Probably going to have bad news. It doesn't work. <laughs> I, I don't care. <laughs> this is what happened, okay, from my perspective. We did the, the stream. It fucked me up. I had a mental health issue from, from going to UCLA. I was genuinely terrified. I just want to say Scootish rolled his eyes right now, and I fucking agree. <laughs> Fuck you. You weren't there. It fucked me up. It fucked me up. It was, like, not good. I came home, and I had anxiety the whole night. She was running into fucking danger. I was genuinely... Hey, I was the one in actual danger, and I was chilling. <laughs> no, motherfucker. You were on the lawn going... <sighs> <gasps> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm physically unfit and needed to use my inhaler. I can't fucking run long distance. Yeah, and I said, dude, you need to go home. Then the next day, we came here to like do work, and both of us looked like we were gonna die. And my mom was like, "You guys look like shit." Okay, so that's number two. Then I was like, "Frogan, I never really got a day to like chill. I don't really want to go and do this fucking concert. Like to be honest, and I honestly think you should not go either. You should rest because we are not doing okay. We got up early to do the fucking uh, Washington Post thing, and like I don't want to fucking do anything." And sitting on my ass and streaming for me is easy. It's not fucking hard. It's just it, when I'm playing an event, that's hard. Okay, I want to remember. I want you to remember this next time. You're like, oh, like we should cancel this because I had to stream for three hours the other day, and now I'm so exhausted. Okay, that's a difference between doing an event on my stream and going live and just being able to watch YouTube. If I can go live every day and watch YouTube, that's fine. And I was like, hey, I got rated. I want to do this. And she was like, you're acting. This is what pissed me off. And I'm not going to say it on this fucking no, pod. It. I'm going to allude to it. She's acting like I'm one of those fucking streamers that cares more about my numbers than hanging out with my friends. Like I'm, And, and I know who she did. And I'm not even going to fucking it. say, but yeah, I said I don't want to do anything regardless if I go live or not. I'm not going. That's what I basically. You literally told me, oh, I want to go. Uh, I, I want to go live. Not instead. I don't want to go to the concert. I want to go live because I like, got rated and I got 3,000 new followers. I want to have this momentum. It's not. That's, and, and then you texted me that bullshit. of like, oh, I'm so I'm so tired. No, 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 no. It's, and then and then I get to go live. It's and both. Right away. It's literally both. I'm not going to go to the concert. And it's either I'm going to sit and play Fallout or I'm going to go and talk about what happened. What's the difference for me? I'm sitting on my ass either way. A concert with a bunch of fucking people in a pit. I'd rather shoot myself well, I okay see, i said never gonna ask anybody to hang out with me ever again that is the most insane response to that and i called you profusely that night and apologized and i said please don't act like we're not friends you're like and then you're like, you know she what was he said? crying it and she's like mad at us and she's like nobody cares about me i'm like frogan i, I said that. see you all the time i never said that you're like i'm never gonna ask anyone to hang out with me because you can cancel my plans and i'm like yes frogan. because it, it sucks but, and then he was like Raph also woke up, woke up at three o'clock. He could have he could have made it. Why are you not mad at Raph? Why are you mad at me? If Raph knew you weren't gonna go, he would have went. Okay, yeah, but that's also putting the guy out. He needs to relax too. He fucking slept for two days. There's something wrong with him. And then he was like, "It seems like you see Raph spiraling, and you want to join him in his spiral." No, I didn't say that. Yes, he did. I did not say that. He did say that. I did not say that. I did not say that. I did not say that. <laughs> Yes, you I, did. Did. I did not say yes, that. Yes, you did. <laughs> it's not <like> Kendrick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if, I, if I did say that, it was a joke. And I'm sorry. It wasn't a joke. Okay, then fine. You are joining Raph in your spiral. Fuck it. I'll say it now, dude. You're fucking both going down a hill, and I'm not hanging out with the both of you. I'm going to go relax. <laughs> and I remember he said that because I was in, in and out ordering a grilled cheese. Base. It was really base. It doesn't matter if I said that or not. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll stand by it now. I'll stand by it now. Yeah, you were fucking spiraling for no reason. You're like, the what, what made me mad is you're like, oh, oh none of my friends. Like, you're like, nobody cares. Like, you were like making it seem like we're I bad friends. It was, that, a, it was a bad friend action. Yeah, and I apologize. But then you made you're it like, seem like we're bad like, friends all the time. Your other friend did it before. I would never do that to you. I was like, you literally just did it to me tonight. Yeah, but again, I wouldn't have gone to the concert anyways. I wasn't going to go. I don't, I did not feel like going. I felt like shit. 
did you consider my feelings that I maybe felt like shit? But you're you were laughing with with him rolling your eyes when I said I'm gonna have a mental breakdown, and you're like, <laughs> but if you don't see this concert with me, I'm never gonna hang out with my friends again. I want to be very clear. I'm only laughing because I've heard that story way too many times, and it happened Wednesday. What story? About you having a mental breakdown at the uh, in camp. Dude, it fucked me up. No, I understand, and I agree that it did. Yeah, just, I've heard it way too okay. many times. Okay, for for context. My fucking resting heart rate is 50 to 40. My bitch was at 110 to 120 in bed. Okay. And now every time I hit my bed because Bars. of that night, huh? Bars. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it's, it's a good BPM. I'm 50, 40 BPM. My bitch is 140 in bed. Raph, what do you have to say about that? I don't ever sleep for two days again. Literally, I, 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 I hibernated for two days and my friendships with everyone fell apart. That's crazy. My friends, <laughs> no. But the other I'm thing, the glue that holds the us other all thing together. that makes me mad <laughs> is I, no I kept like <laughs> trying to suss out if Frogan would actually be extremely upset. I said, "Do whatever you want," and you chose to go live. Whenever anybody, I hate that. Close your ears, Frogan. Okay. Close your ears. Close your ears. Whenever anybody with a vagina says, "I'll do whatever," what you would ever, the answer is always the opposite of what you want to do. That's true. That's true. My bad. Always. That's true. Here's the difference between <laughs> here's the difference between me and you. I take take care of me first before I can take care of my friends. <laughs> I take care of me first. I eat first, then everyone else eats. <laughs> Actually. Why are you looking at me for confirmation? And then, and then uh, to, to, to further do. this on, like, and then the the thing that makes me mad about like hanging out with men at this point in my life is like whenever you ha you feel some type of way. Or you have your feelings hurt, or like it makes you feel like an emotion that isn't happy, or like oh you're such a bitch, oh you're acting like a right now. <laughs> oh. Whoa, 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 I did not bleep that out. I did not say that. Nobody said that. Oh, I'm using past examples in this too. Oh, okay. I was gonna say <laughs> I did not say that. Holy shit! I only said that because I thought. <gasps> You weren't being serious. <laughs> As a woman, your feelings are made to feel invalidated sometimes. That has nothing to do about you no, being a woman. Th th no, that has nothing to do with you being a woman. I think that sometimes you are dramatic, and it's not being a woman. You're just a dramatic person. You know what I'm saying? No, I told her, I was like, hey, you're valid in your feelings. If you would have said, like, please, I don't want to go by myself, and, like, don't not do whatever you want, I would have just gone. I didn't know. However, I still think that it would have been... Selfish because I'm telling her I don't feel good. I do not feel good like and I know that streaming. It's like oh you went live It's like I never stream. I just was bored on a Friday night. I wanted to go I didn't want to get out of my house I, I didn't want to sit on my house and do nothing on a Friday night, but I didn't feel good Like I was just like I might as well do something that's like Somewhat fun for me than sit on my ass because I was gonna game anyways and I, and I profusely apologized. And I said, hey, I'm really sorry. If I would have known, I would have gone. I would never do that to you. And you're like, but you did do that to me. And I was like, I know. But I didn't know you were going to be this you upset. You can't say, oh, I know your other friends have done that to you before, but I would never do that when he literally did the same thing. Yeah, but I night. didn't do it like out of, I didn't do it out of selfishness. I did it out of like, I thought that you were understanding how I was feeling too. But it seems like someone's not. You need to get on anxiety medication then. At this point in your life. Okay, that's fine. Rebuttal? Don't look at me. Look at each other. Look at me. <laughs> Please no. look at me. Don't look at each other. Look no. at me. Look at each other. <laughs> Squash it right now. It needs to be squashed. Apologize. I already did. I again. apologize again. I'm so sorry for Don't look at me. Gone. Look at her. And the, only reason, no, the only reason why I got brought up again is because you tried making a joke about it last night, and I don't find it funny at all. What did I say? I don't remember, but you tried making a joke about it last night. You don't remember the joke, but you're upset? I remember it made me feel mad, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sorry if I made the joke. It I is know, what it is. I don't know what the joke is. Anyways. We talked about it now three times. How many more times? I don't know how many more and times I've are going to bring up your, your bad mental health from the protest from Wednesday. I thought it'd be okay if I had like maybe like just a couple of days of like a really bad mental health situation. Apparently, my feelings are invalid here. <laughs> I can't be separated from you guys.
What do you mean? I'm the fucking glue. <laughs> you guys only came together in my death. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I was okay, everything came apart. <laughs> Maybe it's my death that may bring them closer together. <laughs> no, dude, I f- I feel it. I feel it. I apologize for not going. If I knew that you were going alone, you know I would have gone with you. Yeah, I know. I didn't even know what fucking day it was. It was Friday. And I just learned that because you were like, oh, are you still going to the concert? And I was like, oh, shit, it's Friday. <laughs> and when I didn't hear from you, like, the, I, I was like, okay, he's not going anymore. And I was like, I'm assu- like, I literally assumed. Honestly, that, like, I was just, I was ignoring you guys because I didn't want to go to the concert. <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> no. No, it's not fucking real. Because I was going to say, I'm going to do that next it's time. It's not fucking real. <laughs> You kidding me? Just next time, don't say you'll do something with me if you don't want to do uh, it. We planned for it a month in advance. A month ago, yes, I would gone, but I didn't know. I did not know what would happen this week. If I knew, then I wouldn't have said yes. So I missed one concert. You've been eleven times. I missed one. I made an oopsie. So I apologize for that. It's okay. We're not going anymore, anyways. Sure, sure, sure. That's fine. We didn't just spend five hundred dollars <laughs> each on a festival and hung out for twelve hours that no, day. No, I, I know. Uh, we didn't just. We didn't both go to a big time Rush concert with you, and both of us don't give a fuck about. Big I know. Time. I shout out to fucking uh, kids. Uh, you and I didn't go to a to a neck deep concert for hours. But can you understand where my frustration lies? I understand where your frustration lies. That's all. But I just can want you to- understand? Where saying I'm never gonna do anything with my friends ever again is bitch made. <laughs> it is. That's crazy to say. Yeah, over one thing that we apologize <laughs> for. You're being crazy. Yeah, I got my feelings hurt. Your feelings yeah, are your valid. Feelings and are you're valid. allowed to be hurt, Mm-mm. but don't fucking hurt my feelings in return. Don't make us feel insane for not having. Shut your fucking mouth. I was not doing well either. <laughs> I just text people back, bitch. I don't die. No, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> Brogan's either crying for real or cry laughing. No, I'm crying for real. Yeah, she's crying for real. <laughs> You're heard. We're your friends, girl. Yeah, no, 100. <laughs> we fucked up, and I apologize on my behalf. I don't whatever he. No, says. I apologize. I genuinely didn't know it was going to be this upsetting to you, and I wouldn't have ditched. Because I feel bad. I never want to be that guy that's like, oh, I'm going to pick streaming over my. That's insane. I just was like, I'm not going to. I don't want to go. The way I look at it is like. Like I said, we only see each other in the context of, like, work. And I'd rather do, like, fun shit. hmm Yeah. So, for me, this was, like, one of the fun shit things we had planned that I was just like, okay. Yeah, one fell apart. Yeah, one, but we've got, a, we've got and that's two, okay. two million more. Raph's not dead. It's okay. I'm, not, I'm actually alive. And, <laughs> and also... We do fun shit stuff too. It we just do. gets blindsided because we work together literally seven days time. a week. We're always going to the party. We're <laughs> always going to parties together. We're always after we're doing. Always eating, we're always like dinner. randomly going to a movie together. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We're doing things together. We're gonna do something right we're, after this. We're in the we're in, uh, we're at, yeah we're in the context of work because that's just how it is Monday through Friday. Yeah, which is the majority of the day, anyways. Yeah, but here's the here's the better news. I get to work with my best friends. Before that, I had to work by myself, and that shit was very sad and depressing, and I wanted to kill myself. So now I get to come to work and actually enjoy it. And be sad and depressing to us. Yeah, I get to bitch you guys. <laughs> See? Damn. Not, not Frogan, bad. Frogan really said, don't, don't lie about me, and I won't tell the truth about you. To you. <laughs> You were the Drake in the situation. That I'm was not insane. Drake. You were you Drake in the situation. I do not say I have a lot of similarities you to Drake. A There's a lot, I, a lot of similarities between you and Drake. Right do now. not. I will fucking blow a gasket. I hate Drake. I've hated Drake for a long time. <laughs> I've been on that dude. My fucking username is the, the Drake Hate Train. Okay, Capri Sun Poppy. Can I be on? Can we didn't. T- can, I want to talk about this on the fucking pod. I used to work with a dude that I fucking thought was a douche and his favorite thing was Drake and he used to play the music full blast and then sing it in my ear and be like, yo, say he's your daddy. Say he's your daddy. I think he wanted to fuck Drake. So you then, know what's crazy? Huh? Is how you just told us he got <laughs> just now. <laughs> Bleep that. 
bleep we're that. at the we're close to the end keep it the fucking <laughs> <laughs> if you no bleep it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we don't need this on this pod i'm um, frogan can you make the tearing eyes a little bit more cartoon so it's not as yeah. just <laughs> but so <laughs> so i used to be like if he's champagne poppy like and that's his username so he used to he the guy knew his username so he's like champagne poppy owns you and then I'd be like, that's the worst. That's such a fucking douchey username. It's like, oh, what's up, Champagne Poppy? You're so fucking rich and you have a big pee pee. So, <laughs> my, my, my skull just echoed. <laughs> <laughs> let him go. Let there's him go. nothing. There's nothing. Come here, baby. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Okay. So, anyways, <laughs> so, so, anyways, so I made my username on Call of Duty Capri Sun Poppy to fuck with him, just because I was like, if he's Champagne Poppy, I'm Capri Sun Poppy. I'm the real bitch. And then basically, did he just? <laughs> <laughs> he's saying Drake. He's singing Drake, dude. <laughs> he smells so good. I gave him a bath yesterday because he smelled really bad. But anyways, that's how I got my username. So now all this Drake shit's going on. I'm like, hey, I don't know if you know this, but I fucking hate Drake from the beginning. Like, that was the thing. That's why I used to, like, sing Star 67 to my friends, like, as a joke. But anyways. So, yeah, we're both. You, you could be Kendrick. I'll be Drake, I guess. You I'm, can't say the N-word anymore. Uh, I'm more like J. Cole. Can I bring something? Can I bring something? <laughs> I'm apologizing. I guess I'll be Drake, who is a. <laughs> oh, believe it. Uh, believe I, that. <laughs> and, yeah, I don't want to be sure. Can I, I bring something up? Can I bring something up? For all the bleeps, uh, Frogan cry laughing. Do that. No, <laughs> no. stop. <laughs> I was very vulnerable. <laughs> Just superimpose my face. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Can, I'm gonna bring something up. Yeah. And if if not, like we can bleep it. So bleep it. Every <laughs> 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 came after me in March, we were debating on dropping a diss track response instead of the fucking pod. <laughs> <laughs> I still think we should drop an Ethan Clark diss track. Honestly, at this point, we're don't waiting. Bleep it. Don't bleep that. Don't, Leave that we're in. waiting. If he if he hits us one more time, Bro, he doesn't we've been more than cordial. No, he doesn't. We've been more than cordial, and by we I mean Frogan. It's Frogan. Yeah, I was gonna say more than cordial. It's nothing to do with us. Yeah, he's never gonna attack you. You're Jewish. No, yeah. he's never gonna attack me. Yeah, no, no. But, but yeah, we were like literally debating on <laughs> doing a diss track. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy because I was trying to bring disses back back in our group. Because that was such a fun part of our life, where it was just me, you, Mur, we just Game Pass, we just, just freestyle, disrap, freestyle diss rapping each other, dude. Me and dude, it was such a good fucking time. Teeny I think was a part of that too, but back back in the day, dude, we should bring it back. We should we should do. Oh, he hates passing. No, he doesn't. He just wants to wants him inside. Oh, wants it's Miles. I was like, wait, who? Mur? No. Mur doesn't even know where Palestine is. Yeah. <laughs> Mur's like, oh, I love Pakistani food. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we're at 55. Do you guys wanna uh you you guys wanna cut it off and go into the Patreon? So Patreon special today. Yeah, you told me something special, but you didn't tell me what it was. So I had my mom send Lebanese snacks. So oh. we can taste test them for the Patreon. Oh my god, yeah, you're such so... a better friend than me and Raf, who didn't go to the concert with you. Not funny. It's stop bringing it up. Yeah, we've already moved past it. But no, that's very sweet. Shed. That's very sweet. I'm excited. The tears have been shed. We've already moved past it. I said the one thing I had to say this entire. I said one thing this entire podcast, and it was that. Okay. Yeah, but you've been <laughs> I, I will. I I do apologize for being dramatic and saying I'm never going to ask to make plans with you guys ever again. I will make plans with you guys. No, but we're making we plans it. today. We we're did it. it. <laughs> yeah. Hands in. Hold on. Hands in. My hands, hands in. I don't care. Oh, no, I don't care how corny in. this is. All right. on, on, Wait, what are you saying? Yeah, three. Raf's three hundred dollar jersey. No. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. No! <laughs> Bleep it. Bleep it. We'll uh, be right back. But yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> so basically, we're gonna do some taste testing of lemony snacks. I I peeped through, and I'm not gonna lie, I ate one of the candy bars, but. That's kind of oh, fucked dude, up. I'm, That's our gift. Dude, yeah, well, you're that. <laughs> She I'm said so she said four of, she said four of everything because Scooty's also gonna try it with hey! us. Um, oh shit. Yeah, except one candy bar I ate. Therefore, <laughs> <laughs> you don't, that's you don't get, I'm getting fucked. <laughs> you can have it. I don't want. I don't want it. I'm not making contact with you guys. And then she said there's like one candy bar that only had three. Uh, but I'll split it with you. But yeah, we're gonna be trying some fob fresh off the boat Lebanese snackies in the Patreon. So make sure you look at the link below or the link above. patreoncom slash arabs five dollar tier. Subscribe to it. Um, yeah. Also, uh, go follow all our socials and the Arabs podcast on t uh, X or Twitter oh, or whatever the fuck it is. Because no one ever follows the Arabs podcast. It's not even in the thing. So, all right. Bye, guys.
Bye, guys. And if you're listening, that's it. Good luck. Goodbye. Uh, these are also Ringo ketchup flavored. Oh Let me have it first. God. Smell it. <laughs> <laughs>